there's something exciting and amazing underneath my hand. Before I'll show you, you check this out. It's my pleasure. Okay, today we're gonna to look at the cold steel engage. Two and a half inch blade version of this. Check that out. Can you see that pretty good? I don't know. All right, let's look at this together. Has the Atlas lock on there. Very cool. And this is the first knife I will check out that has the Atlas lock on there. All right, let's get into this really really quick i'm just gonna do a quick look at it have a look there nice two and a half inch blade this makes for a really good edc not so much here especially since you're going to be missing that pinky finger but here is really really nice you got a lot of leverage on this blade here let me give you a quick look we'll do a more extensive review comparison later Check that out, it's got a gauge on the side. It does have the equally wide thumb studs on both sides, which I like. Check that out. There's the markings there. Can you see that? I don't know. All right, it's got the left, right pocket clip jobber here. So you can just flip that over, which is cool on some of the newer cold steel knives. The pocket clip is the same, so they don't have to send you that extra pocket clip that everybody's been worried about, including myself. Everybody wants that extra pocket clip if they need it. Let's have a look see there. This is glass filled nylon. It feels a lot like G10, but it's not. This is glass filled nylon. Excellent humongous lanyard hole if you want to put something in there, which you might. Even if you're not into lanyards, you might want to put it in there just to get you an extra grip if you're using it from back here. Up here though, you don't need that lanyard. And you got a really nice dig in on that blade. It's got even a little like thumb rest here, it feels like. See that little recessed area there? You put your thumb in there, you're gonna get some good leverage on whatever you're carving, whittling, whittling the bones of your enemies into flutes so that you can play triumphant music down the hills. It's weird, I know what you saw it in your head. Yeah, you saw it. All right, now let's check out the lock. I think that's what everybody's here to look at. It's just basically, you pull back here and drops the blade. Blam. So bloop, there you go. This thing is totally fidgetable. Been fidgeting with this all, all morning long, just trying to get the hang of it. And it's very fidgetable. Super fidgety knife. I think you could probably use this as a front flipper. Let's see. Oh, you could. You can get at that. Somebody's gonna get that down. You're gonna see a video of some dude front flipping this thing. Let's see, not me. I mean, I'm, I can barely do it without cutting my thumb off. But so you got this area right here. It's kind of like your forward choil here. And if you're missing out on your, let's say your mini lawman got confiscated at the airport. This kind of fills that hole a little bit. It's got that same kind of size to it, same kind of feel to it. All right, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. We'll do a more extensive look at this compared to some other blades, but I kind of just wanted to get you all a look at this. Look, see there, one more look. All right, let me know what you think about the cold steel engage. I'm gonna let you know right off the front, I like this knife a lot. I'll be buying more of them giving them away as presents and whatnot. And I like the Atlas lock. I'd like to see, I can't wait to see it on a bigger knife just because I want to see if it activates better with your finger right there. See what I'm saying? Right here, it's kind of awkward to use that finger. So you, using the thumb is the best way to do it. But I think on a bigger knife, you'd have more grabbiness back here to leverage that into a finger, finger lock. All right, let me know what you think down there. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. And we'll be back to the other table later. Right now, I got this weird half white, half red sunburn on my head. So, you don't get to see my face for a while.
You could tell the look in my hands. They're all weird and red. All right. I'll talk to you later.